If you're looking for a sleeping pad, you might have browsed over to Amazon to see what they had to offer, and amongst the top few options, you would have come across the iForest sleeping pad, a decently priced option with plenty of good reviews, but who the heck are they? And what do you get? Well, I'll let you know. My name is Chris, and this is GearCash. So we'll start off with the obvious. This is not your typical sleeping pad. There are two side bumpers and a pillow built into the sleeping pad, making it very different from the typical ones you'll find on the market. Overall, the sleeping pad measures 74 inches long and 24 inches wide. However, this is including these side inflatable bumpers and the pillow. Remove these from the equation, say deflate them and fold them under, you're left with simply 18 inches across and 65 inches long. This means that if you choose not to use these pieces, you might end up with a slightly smaller pad than desirable. The sleeping pad weighs about two and a half pounds, which is not too bad considering its size. And although it's not directly stated in the description on Amazon, there was a question answered by iForest themselves about the R value, and they gave this sleeping pad an R value of about 2.8, which is decent for mild temperate weather. For setup, iForest describes this as a self-inflating sleeping pad. However, that is only partially true. The main chamber is self-inflating, however the side bumpers and the pillow are both going to be inflated the same way that you would say a pool floaty, where you're going to have to blow into a valve or bring a pump along to inflate those pieces individually. This means that for car camping purposes this will work great, however for something like backpacking, which once again is listed on the Amazon listing, it's not quite so ideal. That said, this is quite a comfortable sleeping pad with plenty of surface area so you don't feel like you're going to fall off the edge every time you roll over. And it is a decent quality sleeping pad as well, as they include more than just the sleeping pad. You do get a carrying case, a patch repair kit in case you should get a hole in one of the side bumpers, and even a little eye blinder so you can sleep in the middle of the day if you choose to do so. However, not everything is perfect, and of course there is a major drawback to the sleeping pad, and that is simply the process of packing it back up again. So you've got four separate air chambers, the main one, the left bumper, the right bumper, and then the pillow. And all of these need to be deflated before you can roll the bag back up and stick it back into its carrying case. So if you're someone who doesn't particularly enjoy cleaning up the campsite at the end of your trip, this is only going to make things a little bit more tedious and cumbersome to do so. But if you're willing to overlook that for something that is quite honestly one step shy of an air mattress, this is certainly a decent quality product at a decent price. Well that's it for this video guys. If you liked it, hit that like button, get subscribed so you don't miss any future videos, and if you have any suggestions for future content, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you next time.